where else to start but uh, just looking ahead to what should be a fantastic occasion on Saturday of course the League 2 trophy uh, being paraded it should be a great day for all concerned with the Blue Toon well it's a lot of excitement about the place. Uh, I spent spent a, a bit of time in Peterhead in the last couple of weeks, and you know there's there's been a good build up to this. Obviously, last Saturday, uh, you know, if people came and some people didn't know if it was getting presented, but for sure, it's everybody knows it's going to be this week. And uh, even the players in training last night, there was a real edge to them, and I could sense that you know that it was going to be a special day. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and it would be great to get the the big crowd that an occasion like this uh, deserves. Last home game of the season. It would be it would be fantastic. Uh, I mean, we have been, you know, in the last year or whatever, we we spent some time in the community trying to entice the kids and to get them to come and watch us, and and we think that's working because it, we are seeing a lot of kids uh, coming to games now, kids that we recognise for coaching and whatever, and and uh, you know even. Tuesday there we took some of them coaching we're all talking about it coming to the game on Saturday so you know hopefully uh, we, we can just have a special day and and uh, you know we, we get a we get a big turnout I mean I think I think the players deserve that and and I think if it's a big turnout every you know everybody has a great day and and uh, you know for for our kind of a diehard supporters you know it'll be fantastic for them it's it's obviously a great day for them too you know so you know we're, we're just all looking forward to it Sterling what can you expect from them? Well they need they need four points to get in the playoffs so we're going to play a team that's fired up a team that's uh, going to come and try and spoil the party to a certain extent and uh, you know we'll, we'll do our best to, to stop their playoff but you know we'll it's, it's one of the things in football, I think, over a period of time where, you know, there's no love loss between any any arrivals and, and you know, if you were in the same position as them, that they wouldn't think, you know, they, they wouldn't think twice about putting a spoke in your wheel, you know. So we'll motivate the players to, to get and play and, and make sure that we finish off the se- well our home season as well as we can. And uh, if it's anything like last week, I mean, we, our players played with a freedom last week that, that hasn't been there they played with a confidence and hopefully we can see the same again on Saturday Yeah great celebrations to come like I say but that of course is after the game Jim how important is it that your players just focus on the 90 minutes? Well if, if training last night was anything to go by then I don't I don't foresee any problems with, with motivation or or just the way they'll go about the game because they were certainly fired up last night and even last Saturday uh, I mean, Albion Overs, they did lose a man after 15, 20 minutes, but even even up to then, we were playing with a lot of confidence. We we were still in their faces. We worked hard. And, uh, you know, I'll set the players out again this week to do that. And, and as I said, you know, between their motivation to get to get something out of the game for their playoff place and, and for us to make sure that we, we end our home season without losing a game, uh, all in all, it should be a good game. Yeah, it's it, it's a great shame though, Jim. Uh, Rory McAllister's season is over. What what a player he's been uh, for you this season. It would have been great to have uh, seen him hopefully uh, round off uh, the home season in style. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to rule Rory out in uh, the two games because he. I would be lying if I said that I wouldn't. I wouldn't put him on it sometime on Saturday. I mean, he'll take part on Saturday at some point. I would think because he deserves to be on the pitch, and uh, the least he'll be. I mean, he'll certainly not start the game, but he'll be in the bench. And uh, you know, even the following week, time he sticks, he's come out. Uh, who knows? You know, he he might play. He's, he's quite Rory, apart from being. Being a special player, he's he's not a boy that gets a lot of injuries, and if he does get injuries, he's generally a, a you know a quick healer. So, although the doctor kind of ruled him out last week, uh, where the where the stitches are is high up his shin, you know. So, I'm not ruling him out. I mean, he will participate at some point, but you know, obviously, no, no the way that we would like him to be, we would like him to be there for the start, but. Uh, he deserves to enjoy his day the same as everybody else and I'll make sure that he participates in it. 
And what's uh, your other team news? No, we're, we're pretty good. Uh, apart from Callum, uh, who's been long term, everybody's really available. It's, you know, and as I say, Rory will will be included in the squad. So, you know, we're, no, everybody's fitting well. And, and as I said last night, they were, they were a hungry bunch, you know, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. And just uh, just finally, Jim, um, a testimonial to come for uh, Sharpie next season. If, if ever there was a, a deserving cause, what a, what a servant he's been to Peter Head. Uh, I, I mean, I, I've been here two and a half years and uh, I can only speak about really the, the change in him since I've came. He's, he's been, he's went, went for a kind of a right winger to a, a right fullback come right wing back and the change in him and performances and even in his general fitness is, is phenomenal. He he's I mean, I think he lost a stone in weight or something for the start of the season and he's got himself an unbelievable nick. He's uh, and his performances have been top draw. I mean as a full back or a wing back you'd be hard to find I mean, when you look at the team of the year in the league and stuff like that, if there's a better right back in our league then I've yet to see him. But uh he doesn't need plaudits like that from from anybody else except us, and, and he knows what we what we think him. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just delighted for him. He's 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 a great boy. Um, again, one of the boys that getting this medal on Saturday and getting this cup will mean so much to him. And uh, I'm just delighted that we've been able to give him his, his testimonial because he deserves it.